Is it possible to look into the future without a time machine? Various fortune tellers and other scammers assure that it is possible. However, when the time comes to the hour X, they disappear without a trace. Is there not a single true prophet among them? Actually, there is. And he is officially recognized by the UN and UNESCO as one of the greatest scientists on the planet. Have you heard of Sadiq Afghan? You'd be surprised, but back in the late 80s Afghan predicted the year and month of the collapse of the USSR. Using higher mathematics, he learned to calculate events, one of which will happen this summer. The amazing calculation got many people thinking. According to the forecast, there will be an event on July 17, 2023 that will shake up the world. The numerical laws indicated as Uranus related. Will it be what everyone fears will happen and someone will decide to push the red button? Or will it be caused by nature? After all, the Earth does not divide the world into sectors and nations. Every piece of land and water is one whole. But the planet is tired of people devastating it for their greed. If prophecy is to be believed, we are approaching a historical stage where higher power will manifest itself as never before. When asked directly about a large-scale nuclear battle, City answered in the negative. From which we can conclude that the provocation of July 17, though it will bring colossal destruction, will not prove fatal in the long run. Mankind will survive. But in what form will it remain? Could this be a chance for a fresh start? I wonder when City Kafgan predicted the collapse of the USSR, he also predicted its rebirth in 2025. How does that fit in with the events to come? On this point, Siddiq said that 2025 would be fair. The good and honest people will get the good, when the bad ones will get the opposite. It's a time when everyone will see themselves in the mirror and get the same treatment they broadcast to others. I wonder who is good and who is bad? Who decides that? If you are reading this prediction in July 2023, let me know if the predictions have come true. Personally, I am skeptical of fortune tellers, fortune tellers, witches, etc., but it is different when a person uses a scientific approach and his methods are recognized by the scientific community. And what's more, his predictions come true. How can you not believe that everything is predetermined? By the way, Siddiq predicted cataclysmic events in 2023 back in 2015. He said that the earthquake in Turkey was caused artificially, by some device at a depth of 14 kilometers, and that this would only be the beginning. And if that's true, it's really scary that such a destructive weapon exists. It leaves no trace, which means that there is no way to find the guilty party. And so yesterday, March 18, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake struck Ecuador. I hope it's just a coincidence. And nothing else will happen and the predictions won't come true.